Right, morning guys. Yeah, bit of a free day today, so I've loaded the car up as you can see with all the trim, seats, etc. Yeah, ready for the second attempt to get a company to actually do this retrim work. So I'll take this up to Stanley now, get a quote. Hopefully, the quote's good and I can leave all this with them and see what they say. Dilly dilly. Right, happy days, guys. Yeah, that furniture clinic, absolutely spot on. What a professional outfit. Um, looks like I'm going to go for vinyl rather than leather, keep the costs down. Uh, and also, it's not an everyday use car, so. And as the guy said, the vinyl nowadays, it's come a long way. Um, it's hard to tell the difference unless you smell it. Um, so, could work out better for me actually that uh, it's gone this way, everything happens for a reason. So that's that, so I've left everything there with him. Uh, all the stuff, he's going to get batteries with a rough quote on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Um, which is great, so at least I've managed to offload all that stuff again to tell me a bit more space. Well, so I've been a little busy, uh, had a bit of a lull in the battle. Anyway, back to the caddy. So where I'm up to, uh, they're masks, masked off uh, everywhere. I don't want the wrap to go just yet. Doesn't matter if I get a little bit of overspray, but I don't want too much. So I've just done a bit of masking off. Um, so all this is now, you can see with the gray primer. Yeah, that was the black wrap there, which I've just put a key on. Uh, so the new Raptor uh, bonds to that because that's uh, I want that cream now rather than black. Yeah, but I only need it on that bit. That's the only bit you're going to see when you open the door. Yeah, uh, that's all ready. Done. Ready to uh, uh, wrap the rover. Same there. Up to here. So all this will get wrapped. Uh, you know, down there. All these bits all around there. Uh, all across the top, that's been primed, across the front, again, that's been uh, primed, side bit, I've also done the back, uh, this is where the chrome toppers go on, uh, rear light on the fin, um, there's the chrome cap edge and that needs to go on there, so again I can just wrap it up bit. Uh, at least I can get the chrome cap and put back on there and the lights. Uh, <clears throat> this is blown off. This um the waste of time. This is a uh, cheap uh, masking tape. But anyway, I've done exactly the same to the other side. Again, keep this. Yeah, so it's ready to spray. So I'll just put some more masking tape back on that and then I'm uh, I'm good to go. The other thing I need to do. Yeah, uh, again, this is Black Raptor. I just need to put a key on this while I remember. Uh, so again, that'll get done cream now. The, on that side. And then the other side. I didn't actually get round to Raptor in that black. So, obviously that'll just get done now. I just need to put my uh, masking tape around there. So I'll get that little bit masking done. Um, and then I'll be ready to mix up some Raptor and get it lashed on. Um, hopefully get me two coats on and then that's it during the week I can start putting the doors on and putting the windows in gonna put that together diddy diddy well guys it's a transformation in the situation so I've done it around the edges as I need to do and uh, I mean you know I just buy Raptor and them inners I can just, I can see it. Spot on, man. So as you can see the texture, or can you? I don't know. Um, may need a, no it won't. It's gonna say it may need another coat. I mean, that will get another coat anyway. 
I think regardless the whole thing's getting another coat and this was just a to allow me to get the uh, windows put back in and everything so it's all going to be masked off again and then re-wrapped so as long as basically I've got a covering over the metal so it doesn't let the rust through that's mainly all I'm after yeah so that'll allow me to get uh, pretty much uh, most of the stuff put back together now uh, I'll be able to get you know the backlights put in I can get the uh, chrome runners across the top windows in doors in it'll start to really come together and start looking like a car soon um you know just a day's work is going to allow me to crack on uh considering the days i've lost through darkness um i probably would have had the doors on by now but hey work hard play hard guys you know what i mean yeah so all in all i'm happy with that oh, i've caught the hose on that bit there just malik you're not going to see it at least the paint's covered still. Um, yeah. So. Fantastic. I mean, this will be, uh, be dry in about half an hour. But I'm going to take all the masking tape off now. And I'll just drive it back in. Uh, so there's some flies kicking about. Um, and then that'll be it. Look forward to uh, during the week, really. Where, when I can start putting things together once I finish work. Right. Leave that with you, dilly dilly. Yeah, she's put back to bed for the neat. Yeah, I'm just well happy with uh, that bit wrapped around today. It took two bottles actually to do uh, the inners and outside, so didn't go as far as what I thought. Managed to get two coats on, like, well, kind of. Um, but as I say, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's just like ready to gun. Tell you what I'm going to do um, first is put the carpet in. The reason being, when I get the carpet in, I can put the um, plastic covers back on there. Because yeah, carpet needs to go underneath them. And then I can put the, uh, whatever you call them, the chrome strips on or yeah, stainless steel uh, footboards on sill scuff plates whatever they call that and you know, i can get them put on as well um i right, sort of look at different again with the carpet in uh, and then get the doors hung off and everything else like i just keep repeating myself windows in blah 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 chrome edging um it's just kind of exciting now oh because uh, just the amount i can crack no! on the floor, just purely by doing that you just yeah uh, i didn't really realize yeah uh, how much i could actually do once I got to this stage, so I mean, it just really is a massive milestone uh, because you're going to see next week this car starting to really come together and take shape in kind of a rapido time. Anyway, enough of my excitement for today. I thought I'd share it with you though. Dilly dilly! Now I've had a bit of a thought about this um, this bumper. Um. Basically, oh, I've got Raptor. Um, got Raptor over it. <laughs> ah, um, I'll have to clean that off. Anyway, I've been thinking uh, it was going to cost about 1,200 quid to get this back bumper re chromed. Uh, which it only needs re chroming because of, well, I say only because of, but I've got the rust there. Uh, there. This bit was knackered, and then this corner one, it's obviously the worst side. Um, the other ends are bad. But what I am actually thinking of doing is, this top will clean up nicely, and that will too. And I got this idea off um, uh, Gas Bunkies, Fast and Loud. They done up an old car, well, it was sold an auction I don't know, for about $25,000, can't remember which one it was, but it was an old classic, uh, you know, similar era to this, if you like. Um, and they basically put a scuff finish on this. They, they made it like a, um, ah, what would you call it, more like a satin finish. Uh, obviously because they know how much it costs to get re chroming done or re -plating. so I thought ah oh, would that be an idea um, so I could either have done that but then I thought because it's only that bottom bit 
and this top bit of chrome's okay, I could do something up to that uh, line there because the bump is pretty much good up to there, it's only the bottom bit so I could possibly just um, wrap to the bottom of this, put a key on this and just wrap to this the same colour as the car so I'll still have that chrome effect on the top uh, but not underneath so I don't know, some thoughts on that one guys because it's just a lot of money to do some re chroming just really for that bottom bit um, but there we go it's just my idea I'm having dilly dilly Right, so I've got a keyboard stand here, which I've had tucked away. Up in the uh, rafters for a while, and I'm thinking. Um, if I build this up, I'll be able to use this for um, putting me windscreens on, so I can put the rubbers around the side. Yeah, we'll see when I get it set up. Dilly dilly. Okay, so I've just uh, finished cleaning the glass, uh, which is happy days. Just uh, every time I handle this glass, I'm just so nervous, like because uh, I just ain't getting a replacement. Um, so now it's a case of putting the uh, the rubber seal around the edge, uh, ready to put it in place uh, on the front windscreen or on the front of the car where it goes. So yeah, I'll get the rubber put on now. Dilly dilly. Right, I've got the rubber seal on. To be honest, I don't know why I didn't store the glass with the rubber seal around this edge. Uh, would it give it a bit more protection however thank god it stayed intact up to this point oh um, so that's that in place next what i've got to do is on this particular one there's um there's some c lips that have to go uh, around here before I can actually try and get the rubber put back in and sealed into the frame um, because these these um, clips uh, actually are used to fasten the chrome surround in place so I've got a number of these uh, which I need to position strategically or evenly uh, around the frame so my next task is to find them. I'm pretty sure I know where they are. Boxer tricks. Dilly dilly. Right, so a bit of caddy time now. Um, still got this back window to put in, but I'm leaving that until I get everything that I need. Uh, so I thought I would crack on and just get some of this trim done on this side. So first thing to do is put the, uh, the chrome trim on this uh, gut run. Um, once I've done that, uh, that is three pieces, a straight bit up there, the long bit, and then a bit down here. Uh, once I've done that, there's then a, uh, basically, a strip that goes in there, which is here. Uh, and that basically fits uh, on there. And then there's a seal that goes inside, because that's where the windows push up against and create a seal. Uh, when you close the door and I've got the brand new uh, seals here uh, ready to put in once it's fitted um, there is also uh, this bit here as well uh, which somehow oh, there we go yeah uh, that bit that fits on there also yeah so I'll um I'll say get the gut run on first uh, and then fit that bit there and then put the new seal in and then I can do the other side uh, and then maybe just think about getting this quarter window put back in dilly dilly
Well, hello guys. I was going to be making some sort of frame where it would basically go underneath the car and then a support and then an upright and then an across bit with another support on the end, a bit like a hangman, uh, where I could then uh, tie some rope or some chain around the doors to suspend them while I'm trying to line them up which would be all well and good however that would take quite a bit of time and effort and then to get the chains right to, to be able to adjust them for the height whatever I need the door at it needs to be like marginal um, so it would be all right to kind of support the weight and get it there or thereabouts um, but wouldn't be ideal for like sort of fine manipulation to get it exactly how I want so I have a plan with my engine hoist I'm just going to take it down which is only a case of uh, moving it to the center there I should be able to get that down without undoing the uh, brackets I go across so basically I've got them brackets like you see that are uh, straddling uh, my main beam that I made uh, they just unbolt them from the top um, or I might be able to manipulate that so I can get it out as a wanna either way that is coming down and then what I'll do I'll situate it in between uh, the rafters here uh, or the trusses and then I'll just have to put uh, two bits of 4b2 across the way and then my supports will rest on that and then I've got an actual crane off the uh, remote which is obviously here to give me that adjustment in height of the door I mean that's just so much easier than trying to make uh, a frame that would have to be quite substantive because them doors weigh a canny bit uh, it'd certainly be okay if uh, suspended off the trusses um, no fear there so that's my plan so I think I'll uh, that in mind I'll pull our lass's car forward I'll pull the caddy out and I'll get this engine crane down then and I can get it put in situ where I want it ready for the first door I've actually got one of the doors ready to actually go on and um, so depending on which one that is the rest just need the seals put in round uh, so I'll have them to do so I'll crack on with them once I get this um, hoist shifted yeah, I'll get all the seals put on and then that's it. All the doors are then ready to hang. If I can get them put on, that gets them out the Pond Rosa and put on the car. And that's another job done. Happy days. Right, dilly dilly. <laughs> there we go, from idea to reality. Yeah, it took all of, what, 20 minutes? Get in. So it's uh, sorted. So I can position that anywhere I want now. On any rafter, either side, uh, fantastic. Anywhere I want. And now we've got the crane. Oh, happy tears. The other good thing is, with it being that way, um, catch me out on the there. Psst, psst. What do you want? Eh? You want pips? But um, ah, the other good thing is, whatever I put over here, rope or whatever, so this can move freely either side through this hook. Means then I can adjust the door slightly that way, and obviously I've got the remote adjusted for height. I mean, what more do you want? And obviously I've got a bit of movement there, so I can move it that way as well. Yeah, um, I mean it's just ideal, like absolutely ideal, spot on, dilly dilly. Right, so I'm all uh, hooked up. Got my balancer, so I'll just wind that and uh, tilt it left and right. Just been putting the hinges on there, so I'm ready to lift this up and uh, put it into place and get some bolts in. 
try and line it up. I won't be able to line it up properly yet because um, I need to get the other doors on, but as long as I can get it on there, bolted on uh, roughly, I can actually get it to clip into here um, already and that'll support it that side until I get the rest of the doors on. So the main aim now is just to get these doors on uh, in a fashion. Leave the lining up to last, but Lisa gets them, as I say, out the way and hung on the car. Dilly dilly. Well, one door. This back one. <laughs> but it's this side. It's just been a nightmare, which it has been from the very start when I first tried to hang them. Um, and this is no different. So I've got that one done to a point where it's a bit of a Yorkshire door, i.e., That'll do. Um, I can do some fine adjustment, which I'm going to have to do once I start um, with, that, with that other door as well. However, at least that's one door off the floor on its hinges. Um, as I say, it's not perfect yet. Um, but, as I say, That'll do. Boosh. Right. Dilly dilly.